Lockwood & Co. is aiming to become one of the most renowned agencies in the city, with its combination of intelligence, strength and most crucially, psychic abilities. But who are these ghost hunters in real life where monsters and ghosts do not exist? I'm Ali and I play George. I'm Ruby and I play Lucy. I'm Cameron and I play Lockwood. Right, we will start off with Jack Bandera, who in real life is 28 years old, and he portrays Quill Kipps, who is thought to be nearly 22. Kipps is a Fitz Agency team leader with a long-standing rivalry with Anthony Lockwood. Quid. Look who it is. Hello. Quill Kips. This is Jack Bandera and he's playing Quill Kips, yeah. Quill, Quill. Quill. <laughs> Quill Kips. Jack Bandera has had some minor roles as the ones he played in the series Middleton where he showed up on TV for the first time back in 2013 and the movie Undercliff in 2018. Later on, he gained more recognition. He managed to land some notable roles in some well-known films and series such as The Silent Twins, The Duke, Happy Valley, The Witcher and Sex Education where he portrays Eli. While it is true that Jack Bandera has indeed been engaged in the film industry for quite a while, nothing at all is known about him personally. This series is filled with ghosts and it's difficult to determine who is behind the terrifying spirits who literally give you goosebumps every time you hear them. However, behind the ghost of Annabelle Ward, who turned up to be a Type 2 ghost after being assassinated by her ex-lover, is the 28-year-old Gemma Moore. <laughs> At the age of three, Gemma relocated from Hong Kong and grew up in a farmhouse in Herefordshire. Before acting, she was assumed to be a model and appeared in various advertisements and campaigns. She attended Queen Mary's University in London to study English and Drama, and after graduating, she moved on to the Central School of Speech and Drama to acquire a PhD. Gemma Moore has been around the film industry for quite some time now, and she's had notable roles. However, she gained the most recognition from the award-winning horror film Host, where she had one of the main roles. Moore isn't known only for her on-screen roles, she's also a very skilled producer who founded her production company called It Girls Productions. Furthermore, in her personal life, she identifies as pansexual. She has a relationship with her partner named Tom, who she lives with. Moving on to someone who is just 17 in the series, and in real life, Ali Haji Hashmati is actually 23 years old. Taking a look back at his life, becoming an actor wasn't on his dream job list at all. Ali wanted to be an astronaut. However, when he was 12, to impress this one girl he had a crush on, he ended up signing up for the school play. Later on, unfortunately, she wasn't accepted, but he got one of the main roles. Tragic, really, but little did he know that he had found what he loved most, acting. Ali has played some minor roles along the way, however, the one he received recognition for was the role of Jaheed in one of the episodes of the series Alex Rider, and later in the same year he starred in Holby City as Abs Raza. These two roles were the first steps he took toward the bright future that lies ahead, because they've helped him land some other big roles apart from the one that he has in Lockwood & Co. Ali is also starring in the upcoming Bad Education series as the weird new student, Warren. Even though he's been paying a lot of attention to his career, Ali has been focused on his studies as well. As of today, he's a part-time student at the University of Oxford, where he studies English literature. Even though it's quite challenging to balance both work and studies, he has managed to do a great job. And for his role in Lockwood & Co, Ali portrays George, who's the third member of the trio, a character who is an extremely skilled researcher, but is also somewhat of an outcast in the agency. Everybody that is part of the series adores Ali, as he has also stated numerous times how much he appreciates and loves his part. So we saw quite a lot of quirky individuals that would have been good but weren't necessarily as human and real as Ali was. We all just fell in love with him and we wanted to give him a big hug and tell him not to worry. <laughs> However, his teenage years weren't anything like George's. He mentioned, I'm afraid that my teenage years weren't that exciting. George Karim is much cooler than me. He's head chef and a head researcher of the house. Then we have Ruby Stokes. The 22-year-old actress portrays Lucy Carlyle. Stokes has had a number of small television appearances prior to making her feature film debut in the 2016 drama Una as a young version of Rooney Mara's role, who is the main character as well. After that, she appeared in the movie Rocks, A Banquet, and Bridgerton. Ruby was the first person we cast. She had a part in Bridgerton. She was in a movie called Rocks that I'd seen, so I recognized her. This last one is one of her most controversial roles, and it raised a lot of questions since Stokes was required to leave the show and her part as Francesca, the sixth Bridgerton, behind. After making occasional appearances throughout the first season and disappearing entirely in the middle of season two, Francesca is presently the Bridgerton sibling with the least amount of screen time. However, as the series progresses through Julia Quinn's novels, the moment will come for Francesca to acquire a major role, something that Stokes' schedule probably makes difficult. Regarding her 
her role in Bridgerton, Stokes has mentioned multiple times that it was one of the best experiences, since she got to see what the production of a well-known series looks like. Even though her major role was coming sooner or later in this series, Ruby decided to leave it behind. In addition to engaging in historical dramas and the supernatural genre, Stokes is currently working on a Paramount series called The Burning Girls, which, according to Ruby, it revolves around a mother-daughter relationship. Additionally, she has stated that she would love to play a character who is significantly different from who she is in real life in regarding to her upcoming projects. And as for her personal and love life, she prefers to keep it a secret, and she was sufficient in doing so because there is nothing known to the public. Now, let's talk about one of the main characters, played by one of the UK's rising actors, Cameron Chapman, who takes the lead as the courageous Anthony Lockwood. The charming Anthony, a teenage ghost hunter desperate to unravel a mystery that will change the trajectory of society, is definitely brought to life by Cameron, with his amazing array and skill. The 20-year-old Cameron has an impressive theatrical history, and was well prepared for his intriguing role in Lockwood & Co. by honing in his craft at the esteemed Royal Welsh College of Music and Drama. Lockwood & Co. was my first audition as an actor. When I first came down to set, to rehearsals, it all felt so surreal. Given that this is the first leading role that he has been given the opportunity to play, it must have been a bit stressful. As Cameron said in an interview, it was a major cultural shift for him to go from a theatre rehearsal where he was in a room with no more than 10 to 15 people to a production set with over 300 people. Although this was his first big gig, Cameron Chapman really wrapped his head around it and did an incredible job. A big support for his first major performance was the whole cast and crew of Lockwood & Co. In relation to this, he mentioned, Lead roles can sometimes be a little more restrictive restrictive, but luckily for me, Lockwood has so much complexity to him, and I had time to explore it, and the team allowed me to have input into the role. As for his family, it seems that they are very close with one another, since they were the first people that he told that he got the part. Considering the fact that his family wasn't a part of the art and film industry, Cameron was concerned that he wouldn't make much out of his career, but with his family support and the hard work he put in, it definitely paid off. Apart from this, not much is known about his family, and he definitely doesn't want anyone to uncover his mysteries. As for his dating life, Chapman wasn't linked to any name up until now, where a lot of fans are shipping him with his co-star Ruby Stokes. So we're just gonna have to wait and see if Lockwood will reveal this mystery to the public. We are now down to the cast's youngest member, Paddy Holland. You've guessed it, the name gives it away immediately. The 18-year-old Paddy Holland is the younger brother of Tom Holland. Paddy stars in Lockwood & Co. as Bobby Vernon, and he has left quite an impression on the audience. Tom Holland posted a photo on Instagram of his younger brother to express his congratulations on getting his first ever big role. Tom had captioned the post, Check out Lockwood & Co. starring my not-so-little brother. So proud of you, Padster man. Paddy Holland has had a promising start to his career. His role in Lockwood & Co. isn't the first one he's gotten the chance to play. His first ever part that he got was in the film Holmes & Watson, and later on he appeared in the first season of the series Invasion, playing the role of Monty. And he'll get to be part of the second season as well. Just like the other members of the cast of Lockwood & Co., Paddy he likes to remain mysterious about his life. Apart from the fact that he still lives with his family, his dating life has never been mentioned publicly. So, what are your thoughts on the cast of Lockwood & Co? Let us know in the comment section below, and thanks for watching.